Next in the tank, the entrepreneur who's trying to fulfil his dad's last wish. He actually wrote me a letter and he, in my letter it said... Um... Next in the tank is a Brisbane graphic designer who's turned the saying message in a bottle on its head. I've got an exciting new product. It's a world first, um, so I can't wait for the sharks to see it and see what their reaction is. Hi Sharks, my name's Brett Page and I'm the creator and co-owner of Seller Apps. I'm here today to ask for a $170,000 investment in exchange for a 20% equity stake in Seller Apps. It's common knowledge that us Aussies love our wine and whether the celebration, wine is often our favourite go-to gift. Yet our options are limited to choosing from one of these outdated gift bags or a greeting card that doesn't work cohesively with the shape of a bottle. I've come up with a solution. Seller Apps is Australia's pioneering greeting card label for wine that also doubles as a gift wrap. Simply select a bottle of wine, choose a Seller App for the right occasion, write your personal message in the space provided, and then wrap it around the bottle, securing it using the adhesive strip on the back. With over 20 designs, there is a Seller App for any occasion. We also have blank cards, so you can create your own. So Sharks, who would like to pick up a part of revolutionising the way we gift wine? Oh, great. Thanks, Brett. So that was 170,000 for 20% of your company. That's correct. And I've got some gifts for you guys. Great. No way, bring it on. The cheers one. OK, thank you. Is cheers. yours. Thank you very much. Naomi, red, of course. Thank you. Emergency <laughs> one. <laughs> so this is an example of how it works. That was a flat. That's you right. You wrote on it, you, adhesed, you licked it to get the adhesive and yeah. you slipped on the bottom. That's right. So they are oh. made to take off. Oh. That's why it doubles as a gift wrap. Uh, we don't want to lose the integrity of the actual gift given. And I see you've got a patent on here, so yep, that's an Australian patent, and have you applied Patent pending um, in Australia, and we obviously do want to look at international, because there's nothing like it worldwide. So you um, designed them all, they're all unique designs owned by you? Yes. Congratulations. So you've got all these great ideas coming out. Who inspires you? Uh, my dad. So tell me about your dad. Um, so, Dad had Parkinson's disease um, and I cared for him for, you know, about seven years up on the Gold Coast. He then got a brain tumour um, and six months later he'd passed um, last year. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, uh, so he actually wrote me a letter just before when, you know, he knew what was going on and he, in my letter it said, Brett, I know, you're an inch away from being the page's first millionaire. I know you've got it. Um, and this was before I even came up with this idea. So it's really pushing me. That's why I'm here, to have the help from you guys to really push that business side of things, to get those, you know, get them in the stores and make it happen. OK. Tell us about the unit cost, well, how much it costs you to make them and what you sell them. Sure, so um, they cost 40 cents to make. We make $3.54 wholesale. We're currently stocked in 71 stores Australia-wide with this number increasing daily. Brett, you talk about we. Who is the business? I did get an investor on because he's got a large business background. I started to get a lot of traction, so I thought, what I need to do now is try and find an investor because I needed to find that right business person. What sort of investor for how much equity? Uh, so my investor has put in $100,000 with a $100,000 loan and we've, uh, he's had 40% for that. Oh. Right, and so what did you ask us for? Uh, 170 for 20%. Wow, so that's an increase in valuation in a very short space of time. Um, so you've more than almost tripled the value of your company. Brett, you're going to need to justify your valuation. Yeah. Sell me the future. The future is we're hoping to get to 1,200 stores within a year. 
and that's an $800,000 return for that year. So if I invest $170,000, I will get 20% of an $800,000 profit? By year two, yes. So then the 170 k that you're after now, specifically, what are you going to do with it? Uh, it's to roll out to get more feed on the ground and stock. I've got a difficult question for you. You only own 60% of the company. Yes. So if I made you an offer of more than 20%, your partner and you will both have to dilute. Sure. Do you have to discuss that with him? No, we've already made this, we've, we've discussed this. So, oh. we're, we're so you and your partner that. are both prepared to dilute? Yeah, definitely. I'm concerned that if you get diluted too much right now, it'll take you a long time to be the millionaire that you yeah. deserve to be. So for that reason, I'm out. Thanks, Amy. Um, for as much as I love wine, I just can't get excited about this business. Brett, I really wish you all the best, mate. I really hope you are the first millionaire in the Page family. That'd be fantastic, right? <laughs> Thank and you. I hope I'm totally wrong, but I'm out and I wish you all the best. Thanks, Steve. I have no doubt in my mind that you will be the first millionaire in your family. No Thank doubt you. whatsoever. Thank you. The thing is, though, for me, it's not different enough. Yep. I'm out. Thanks, Janine. Good luck, though. Thank you. So, Brett, I actually like that it's not too different. So it's, it's got a market, people are already buying, there are already headspaces around gift giving and you're just giving them an alternative way, but I also like the fact it's going to be there in your wine cellar and you remember who gave it to you. I like that part. Yeah. So I, I'm going to make you an offer. Um, I'm going to meet you somewhere in the middle on, on you and your, your business partner. So 170k for 40% is okay. what I'm offering. Yeah. Um, I think that's a fair risk, considering that you've got very little traction in the market yet, but you're hopefully there's enough traction for me to invest in more than just hope. So that's an offer of 170,000 for 40%, as mm -hmm. opposed to the 20% you asked for. Sure. Just quickly, Brett, you do realise that if uh, Glenn takes 40%, he'll be the biggest shareholder in the company. And the problem is what, Steve? I'd hate to see a bottom feeding deal get done. Brett is seeking $170,000 for 20% of his wine greeting card business. So my investor has put in $100,000. Uh, he's had 40% for that. Oh. Wow, so that's an increase in valuation in a very short space of time. Naomi, Janine and Steve are all out. And the subject of Brett's existing investor has turned the sharks against each other. I'm going to make you an offer. Um, I'm going to meet you somewhere in the middle on, on you and your, your business partner. So 170k for 40% is okay. what I'm offering. Yep. Just quickly, Brett, you do realise that if uh, Glenn takes 40% of with the biggest shareholder in the company. And the problem is what, Steve? That's a good thing. I'd hate to see a bottom feeding deal get done. Uh, how about you, Andrew? Yeah, yes. I'm, look, I'm tempted. You have a quality which I think is important in an entrepreneur, which is you know what you're good at, but you also know you have limitations. Exactly. And you're humble enough to admit that, and I think that's fantastic. He's offered you 170000 at 40%. Um, I, I would be prepared to... Uh, to offer you 170,000 for 30% of your business. Okay, wow. Well. Uh, yeah, look, I'm happy to match uh, Andrew at 170K. I would be more interested in seeing what are the gaps in the overseas markets. Yep. He's got more retailing experience in Australia. Yep. Um, so you need to think about that. OK. I came in here looking for Andrew, and 
and I appreciate the offer, but I think realistically with what I've learnt today is I think Glenn's going to be the best partner for me and I'd love to do that deal. Great. Well done. Congratulations. Good decision. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> really appreciate it. You've done a great job. You've really, to get the business where it is today, you've yeah. done well. well Thank done. you. I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Good on you, mate. Well See done, you. Brett. See ya. Your dad will be proud of you. Thank you. I love humble people. They're willing to listen to someone else's opinion, weigh it up, and then work out how they can apply it to their business. A Queensland couple have bet their future on their product. We've basically spent our retirement, so we need to make this work. Please don't take this too personally, but you've stuffed it up. Just give it a break for a sec. Have you flooded it? Yeah. We just stand here on the boat ramp and admire the view. The shark's next meal is Peter and Margaret Powell from Cairns in Queensland. Yay! <laughs> We've been married for... <laughs> 33 and a half years. Not that I'm counting. <laughs> Far North Queensland has the best of everything. We have the reef, we have the rainforest, and there's lots of creeks and rivers. Look at that, beautiful, isn't it? What inspired the product is my passion for the reef. And I just wanted to do something that is a solution to a long-term environmental problem. It's really helpful to boaties, and it limits the footprint that you leave behind. It will hopefully be adopted by everybody who owns a boat. We've invested what we have to retire on, really. We put it all into this device. I wonder where the crocodiles are hiding today. He's really brilliant in what he's invented, and sometimes in life you don't get enough credit for what you're good at. And so I had said to him at the time, even if it cost us our house, we would persevere with this. But after working side by side for years, Peter is insisting that Margaret face the sharks alone. The invention is my side, and I feel Margaret's the better person for the shark tank than I am, but I'll, I'll be there for her if she needs me and, and supportive of her. Hi, sharks. My name's Margaret Powell, and I'm really excited to show you our innovative device, the Catch and Release Anchor Retrieval System. We're seeking an investment of $200,000 for 20% equity in our business. The Catch and Release is an anchor retrieval system that allows you to pull your anchor up the way that it went in without causing damage to the reef, even if your anchor's stuck. Yeah, nice. When you pull up your anchor, you're pulling it through whatever it's attached to. So this can cause catastrophic damage. If you have a think about the 850,000 recreational vessels that are registered in Australia, or when they go on a fishing trip, they're pulling up that anchor three or four times every time they go out. It's not just the environment that's at stake here, though. Stuck anchors have been known to capsize boats and to cause damage to those boats or even drownings. In fact, it was an incident on our own boat that started all of this many years ago. So Peter, my husband, decided to set to work and find a better solution. As he would put it, after many years and many, many beers, <laughs> we've come up with a simple, easy to use and environmentally friendly device. It will retrofit to most anchors and is able to be used on recreational vessels up to about 40 feet. Let me show you how it works. So here I am in my boat. I'm ready to pull up the anchor and guess what? It's stuck. So I have a sleeve that stays up in the boat until you're ready to retrieve. The device, as you can see, is on the anchor at all times. So you let the sleeve down. I'll just do it gently. It compresses the pins, releases the coupling, enables you to pull the anchor up the way that it went in. Oh, do that again. Impressive. That was like a magic trick. You have the sleeve up, you let it down, it compresses the pin and pulls it upside down and pulls the anchor up. That's yeah, well done. Yeah, no, great job. Fabulous. Thank you. 
Okay, Margaret, so you're looking for $200,000 for 20% yeah. of the company, valuing it at a cool $1 million. Yes, that's the actual collar that yeah. slides down. You can see that it has a taper. So every type of anchor you can retrofit it to? Uh, most types of anchor. We haven't found that one that you can't because all that you need is the attachment point at the top of the anchor for the extra piece of chain. Yeah. This is a fantastic bit of kit. Can you go through the economics? What's, what's the cost to manufacture, do you think? About $100 manufacture. 100 bucks, OK. $100 to manufacture, and yeah. the wholesale price, you're thinking, is? Uh, $230. That's $230. average of across the board. Recommend retail is $295. We have actually sold $150. You already yes. tested in the marketplace. Yes. So in terms of getting the price down, yes. you've obviously gone offshore. What are we going to get it down to? Forty or fifty dollars to make. That'd be fantastic if you can do that. Do you have patent protection on Yes, you? we do. Right. Well, how long ago was that applied for? A long time ago. We have three years left on our patents. Oh. Margaret, three years left. I know. You're killing me, Margaret. What happened in the last 15 years that you only got three years left on your patent? Because we couldn't get a manufacturer to manufacture them properly. Margaret, why did it take you three years to come to Shark Tank? Well, I had no sales initially. It doesn't stop most people walking through that door. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> really, if someone's going to invest in this, they've got to make hay for the next three years. After that point, someone can legally copy it. Yes. Margaret, where's Peter? He's the inventor, right? He's hiding out the back. <laughs> he's hiding? What do you mean he's hiding? Is he scared of us? He believes he's the inventor and he's done his bit, so I have to do the rest. <laughs> Should I go get him? Yeah, bring him Absolutely. out. Absolutely. He cannot hide from us. It's safe in here. She's obviously got the US patent, but, you know, three years to run, hello. Hard work. What do you think, Glenn? I like it. My biggest issue, quite simply, is the recommended retail price. I think it's got to be under 100 bucks, and then you're going to roll them off. What's happening? You need to come into the Sharks and, and meet them, so if we want to get a deal. Oh, OK. Come on. Let's do it. What if it became a marine standard? If you want to take a fishing boat out, you've got to have this on there. That'll boost sales. Yeah. Peter, we've heard a lot about you and we've seen some of your work. Welcome to the tank. Thank you very much. What inspired you to spend so much time on this? I love the reef. I grew up on the reef. And I wanted to do my little bit time in the world to help this. That's exactly where I got to in my headspace. This is an environmental thing more than anything. So every time you drop an anchor, yeah. you drop it with one of these because you're going to do less impact to the environment. Oh, my word. Yeah. Mate, why'd you sit on it for 17 years? I'm sitting here wanting to do this deal, and I've got a three-year shop clock working against me. Um, I was trying to um, prototype it, and I, I sort of, when I wanted something done, I was put on a low priority everywhere I went. So I had to basically build my own shed, get my own machines and do it myself. So you actually acquired all the machine tools to build the prototype yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I thought this was a hobby. This has been a complete obsession. Yeah. Has Margaret been any support? Oh, couldn't do it without her. Um, simple as that. Um, hmm. She's the big driver now, really, you know? Like... It means everything to us because we've basically spent our retirement, so we need to make this work. When you start down the business journey, You've got to be cleverer. Yep. Because the downside of it is bankruptcy, exhaustion of your retirement funds, not leaving legacy for your kids. That's the downside when you stuff it up, right? That's right. Please don't take this too personally, but you've stuffed it up. Margaret, Peter, I'll tell you where I'm at. Look, I love your enthusiasm and your passion for the reef. You know, we should all admire that. And, and your tenacity. 15 years banging away at this, and then in the end having to make it yourself with your own bare hands. Fantastic. 
sadly, you tried to make the product yourself yes. and create a business out of the product. What you could have done is find someone who could make it, distribute it, sell it, and give you a piece of the action, a license. Oh, and I'm still prepared for somebody to offer us a royalty and to do that, certainly. I wished we'd got to you earlier, but for those reasons, I wish you well, but I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. I so want to do this deal, but every financial part of my brain says, don't, don't, don't. I can't find a reason to do this deal because of the, the three-year shut clock. I'm out. I'm so sorry. I'm out. If, if I can think of a way to help you, I, I will reach out to you. I, I, I want to do something. It's, it won't be an investment today. Yep. Thanks for this. It, it will help save the reef. Thank you. Thank you very much, yeah. You know, I think it's a great invention. I can't get past the fact that you've spent an absolute fortune on paintings and haven't done anything with them for 15 to 17 years. I'm out. OK, thanks, Janine. So, Margaret and Peter. Yes, no. Hats off to you. It's really fabulous. I happen to be spending six weeks around the corner from you this summer. So, given that I'm going to be in your region for six weeks, I'm really happy to mentor you. That would be fabulous. So let me spend some time with you and let's see what we can come up with. That would be wonderful. But for this deal, right now, I'm out. So four sharks are out, just one shark left. And so I keep reminding myself, I'm an investor, not a charity. Yeah. And the investor side of my brain, which is the nasty side, <laughs> then works out how to position so that if this goes well, I get the upside, but I also minimise the risk on the downside. This has got the environmental thing, you know. That... So I'm just struggling, deeply struggling. I'm going to throw an offer at you. I want 100% of the company for 200,000 with a 5% royalty all the way through. Forever and ever. Can we just, can we just restart the offer because it, this has never been offered in the tank. I'm buying the company. The 200,000 goes to them, it doesn't go into the company. Is that what it is, Glenn? Yeah. You get all your money back and maybe some upside if he gets it off the ground 5%. Normally, I'd tell you to run away from that deal and that it's a load of crap. But you want to save the reef. You've only got three years to go, and you've done your retirement money on it. So I actually have to say it's not a bad offer. I've got to look at the exact reason why this has been going on, and I've stuck at it, and Margaret's stuck at it too. It's, it's about our dream, and um, my passion for the reef. I think, well, I know you have got more of a chance to fulfil this dream than I'll have in the amount of time we've got left. So for that reason, I'm happy with you, mate. Good. Hey, well done. You just won the lottery. That is <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> well, I know that was a very, very hard decision, but yeah. I, I oh, think it's Sorry, Pete, for a vet is a nice Thank you. Congratulations. Sorry. Well done, you guys. Well, you did do that, man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, Margaret. Congratulations, guys. Really, congratulations. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you sold your company. I know. Who would have thought that? I get, were you expecting that at all? No, as you not into at the all. Tank today? Not at all. I always knew that having only three years left was going to be an issue. And um, yeah, but that's awesome. Can you imagine what it's like for them? Amazing. Life changing. Today they came in to the tank and their life forever is changed. Because you will make a difference to the planet. I'm happy, yeah. It's for the passion of the reef. 
in the environment out there, and um, that's that's my dream. They loved you and your product, and yeah, um, that's great. All the best for the future, hey. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very, thank much. You very much. Thank you. This way, no risk, their dreams fulfilled, they sit back, take a royalty. I, I can see where this will be a lot of fun and it's important. First to face the sharks, a green-thumbed inventor. Safe solution to weed control. Good afternoon, Sharks. My name is Omid, and it means hope. I'm here to ask for $175,000 investment, and for that, I'm offering you 7.5% of the company. People who make weed killers advise you to wear safety gear, coveralls, goggles, face mask, and gloves, so that you can use this to spray these. The problem is, it is not specific in what it targets. In my pocket, I have a disruptive killer technology that addresses that problem. This is IntelliWeed. One simple click and your weeds are dead. So you can target with absolute precision what it is you want to kill and what it is you don't want to kill. It does it precisely, it does it effectively, Absolutely, 100% death rate for all known garden weeds. Okay, so 175,000 for 7.5%. Yes. Great, could we have a look at some? Please do, please. So um, how does it work? There is no poison in any of these, so... No, um, so it doesn't work on people, it just, just plants, right? Absolutely, we went to a lot of effort to make sure it doesn't work on people. Okay. It's designed with children in mind, with um, people with arthritic hands in mind, with farmers in mind. It had to be portable. All right, well, why don't you just show us this and then we can, we can well, go through it. Show us how it works. One single click. So you just click the leaf? That's it, and the weed is gone. So it's like one of those pinprick blood test things? Basically. Depending on the size of the weed, you may wish to have one single click or you may wish to do more. Obviously, the more you do, the quicker it dies, but one is enough to do the right. job. Did you come up with this invention or are you a distributor of the product? No, I'm the inventor. Inventor. I, I would like to say this. I'm here to present a great opportunity to you to be a part of something great. It isn't because I invented it. It's because I know it's a good thing. With the amount of weeds that this one device can kill, we can save several dozen Olympic-sized swimming pools worth of chemicals being poured onto our gardens. That's great. The inspiration for this is very personal. When my son was two years old, he had third degree burns to most of his upper body. And after um, many months of treatment and after um, several skin grafts, the surgeons told us that he was not to come into contact with chemicals and that he was not allowed to um, play in my garden that um, I had so laboriously made for him because I used chemicals. And that was the inspiration to developing this because I couldn't find anything in the world that could treat weeds without leaving a trace behind. So this is it. How is he now? He's fine. Oh, he's, um, he's 14 years old now and um, he's my hero. Okay. G'day, I'm, I'm Steve, uh, how you doing? How do you Where, Whereabouts are you from, mate? Uh, I'm from Adelaide. Oh, nice, Adelaide, beautiful. Hey, um, what is the 100% uh, death rate poison that's actually inside this? Um, that's a very good question, Steve, because you can put anything in there. All right, so this could be any sort of broadleaf or... Absolutely. Uh, uh, in in fact, up or something the like patent it. covers delivery of any chemical to any living tissue. And so this is patented, so no one's actually gone up and down and go click and, Absolutely. and kill it dead? Absolutely. Absolutely. So do you have patents where, I mean, what, what please? We have patents in um, US at the moment. We've got two patents and we are awaiting for Europe. And how long ago were that? How many years have you been on this journey? The journey has taken 10 years, but the patent uh, was issued in 2014, March of 2014. Are they full patents or patent pending? No, no, full patents, granted. So it's just the device. The it's device. the unit to actually make the, the, right. the poison work. That's and it's right. not a business right now, is it? It's just a product patent. You don't have sales and staff and distribution. We don't have sales, but distribution. we will as of July. And what, what is it RRP for, mate? $20.
Um, Ahmed, at the moment you're pre-revenue, you haven't sold any, is that That's correct? That's correct. Okay, so who do you think the launch is going to be with and how big do you think it's going to be? They are leading names in Australian markets. So and how many July shops would year, they have or something that Several gives hundred. Several hundred, great. Several hundred in Australia and New Zealand. Yeah. The American um, outfit, um, we have a um, commitment to a minimum sale of 600,000 units every year. And that's just in the US. So they assume they're going to sell a lot more than 600,000. Of course. And is it a manufacturer or a retailer? Uh, both. Then if, you, if you're successful in the US, you're going to get millions, not 600,000. I didn't want to scare you by saying it, but um, all the estimates are that. Is, is the American deal in, in, in this deal? Absolutely. This is a really good idea. How much are you after again? 175,000 for seven and a half percent. What have you spent to get it to this stage? Um, close to 600,000 so far. Oh, hello. Wow. We have spent a lot of time designing and redesigning. We've made a lot of mistakes on the way, and every trial that we've conducted has been three months, and every trial costs money. So you, you put the entire $600,000 in, in real dollars into this yourself? Well, it took the house, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, so and you mortgaged. Almost and... every bit of um, um, personal saving that I had that has gone into it. You've taken 10 years to get here. Life presents its challenges and you have to overcome it does. them then as you Help can. me understand mm. it, because at the moment I'm going, gee, you don't work very quickly. <laughs> well, the first idea came 10 years ago. Yep. Then certain things happened. I had to look after my son. I'm a single parent. And mm. I had to overcome certain challenges, not just design. And these challenges... Took time. Took time. This is a, this is a, I mean, I'm, I love the concept of it. I'm, I'm trying to understand how I can positively affect driving the business going forward. One way to do that is to take more than 50% of the company, which I don't want to do and because I, I, I don't plan owning this company. I want to work with you. So um, I'd like to offer the $175,000 for a one third share. Okay. Andrew, can I ask you a question? Yeah. What is your offer? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Before I make my offer, what do you want from a shark? You want the money, but what else do you want from a Above shark? Above the money. Money is cheap. Money yeah. can be so had. When you came in I here, what did you leadership. want? I want leadership. I want wisdom. OK. Um, 175,000 for 30%. So we got two offers, 175 for one third. I'm offering you 175 for 30%. And there's okay, still who three else? more sharks Three in. sharks Indeed. left. I mean, I'll, I'll clear the field for you to help your decision. There's a couple of things that I always like to know when I'm investing into a business is proof of purchase. Would the customer want it? And because I'm not convinced, and I wouldn't like it as a gardener myself, to have my hands so close to poison, for that reason, I'm out. Thank you for your consideration. Uh, look, Armand, I love what you do. I'm going to be a customer, a great advocate. Thank you. Uh, if you'd come with an organic uh, weed killer at the same time, I'd be so in, you wouldn't believe it. But for this one, I'm out. Thank I'm grateful you. for your consideration. Cheers. Thank you. What about you, Dr Glenn? What are you doing? Yeah, look, um, my eight-year-old and I had a beautiful veggie garden last year and watched it slowly get taken over by the weeds. So I, I get it. I think um, I would use it personally, and I, I think that's always a good test for any of us that how would I relate to it. So I'm in. Um, so 175k for 15%. Oh, oh, Dr. Glenn. Okay, two sharks are out, three sharks are in. You got one offer, 175 from Steve, 33 and a third. I've offered you an amazing offer of 175 for 30%, and Glenn's offered you an offer of 175 for 15%. Can I ask a question from all of you? What will you bring? Breeder Omid Rad wants $175,000 for seven and a half percent of his weed killing innovation in Teleweed. Andrew, Glenn, and Steve have made offers, but they all want a much bigger chunk of his company. Can I ask a question from all of you? What will you bring? What will I bring? 
basically uh, immediate legal advice on your contract and scale. I, I, I mean, this is a huge market in the US. Everyone's trying to kill weeds. This is a healthy way of doing it. If you get market share, you're going to sell three to five million of these things a year. But basically, I'll get it to market in the US efficiently and hand it over to someone who can make millions of these and sell them at a good margin, and then we can save lives and do things. Well, I'll, I'll give you some more food for thought. I, I actually came up with two numbers when I was, I gave them my phone, and I, and I, I thought that the, the best I could do I, I can't quite come close to what the other guys have done, but I do bring something to the table. I have a, have a team who, who work in the uh, manufacture and sale and distribution of these items. So I'm happy to take it down to 25%. Yeah, it My story, you know, dealing with biotech company for the last uh, seven years, shared the journey with two founders and inventors of a product that is now registered in America and making great sales. We've got legal advice. We've got people that have gone through uh, and dealt with e the EPA and the FDA. Uh, so I know your journey. So 175, 15%, Steve's adjusted his offer 175, 25%. I'm sitting at 175 for 30%. What's your decision? May I discuss this with my hero first? Yeah, go for it, go for it. Is that OK? Is he yeah. here? Yes. Oh, okay. fabulous. Off of course. you go. Do you mind? Thank you. Thank you. How old is his hero now? 14. 14. A 14-year-old business advisor. I've got three different offers. Really? What do you reckon? It's your go. <laughs> it's for us. It's for both of us. Hey. Sharks, this is my son, Aria. Hello, Hello. Aria. how are you? So what do you think of your dad coming up with this uh, concept? Has he been, he's been talking about it for years? Yeah, he talks about it all the time, constantly working <laughs> on it and everything. <laughs> so what do you think your dad should do? He's got all these offers on the table. It's really up to him. I have no idea about any of this stuff. <laughs> Good well, answer. At least you're honest. <laughs> but he likes your offer. However, oh. would you consider sharpening it a little bit? Sharpening? A little bit. Compared to these other loose sharks up the other end, I think it's pretty sharp, I mean. Indeed, I agree with you. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm stuck at 15% because I'm sitting here thinking, 33 went down to 25, 30 hasn't moved, and I'm seeing the value in this, but at the same time, I'm cautious. 175k for 15%, it's patient money. Let me say this. I really, really appreciate all of your comments, every one of you, and I really would love to work with all of you. But I will take your off. Oh. <laughs> well done. Well, 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 well done. Good job. Thank you very much. Well done. No Thanks. mess. Thanks. No fuss. Just this wish. No <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to meet you. Well, well done. done. Thank you very much. Thank you kindly. Really Thank you. Partner. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Thank you, man. Cheers. See you. Hmm, that's a shame. If I was hoping to... If that is uh, worth 480k in the next 12 months or the next 18 months, that's yeah. an unreal deal. Well done. <laughs>